Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. We're so excited to be here this morning. Um, for months and months, we've been talking about uh, tackling food insecurity, and we we have so many great partners here who are doing their part. And I'm so excited that everybody's here. But food insecurity is a major issue across the entire state. 39 of our 46 counties have defined food deserts, including Richland County and, of course, our own beloved capital city, City of Columbia. U.S. Department of Agriculture defines as anywhere with a grocery market selling fresh food within a mile of cities and within 10 miles of rules without one, obviously, is creates a food desert. As you can see to my left, we have a food desert. You can see to my right, we have a food desert. Straight forward and behind us, we have food deserts. So attracting large grocery chains and retaining grocery stores are difficult in our community. As we know, we've lost several, several chain grocery stores and had several close in our inner city communities over the time and left us with these food deserts. So we have to find another way, new ways to ele elevate food insecurity by utilizing resources and technology that we have available today. When we were working on potential solutions, it hit on our online food delivery vendors that could play a large role in connecting the community. So grabbing technology and existing things and using it to focus on helping us solve that gap. Using something that we're all used to because we now know that delivery is real easy to our doorstep. As the idea was born and the partnerships were formed with Instacart because they saw how working to start a program like this not only aligns with their mission, but transforms the, the game and the local governments combating food insecurity we're excited to announce the GAP program because of the impact it will have on Columbia. Because it's always a great example for how public-private partnerships can reinvent, adjust, create, steal, and adapt real solutions to solve a problem together. And I hope this will challenge my colleagues and our neighbors to think outside the box as we continue to work on other issues in our community. But I want to talk a little bit about the GAP program. As we talk about the, the GAP program, Groceries Access Pilot Program, we want to start a pilot. Like anything, you got to learn to crawl before you walk. So let's figure out how we can start slowly getting into our community and taking folks and getting them into a program and building its success so that we can grow it. This program will improve access to nutrition as food expands shopping choices for family in these deserts. We're going to start with 110 households, and I hope that we fill it up so fast that we go ahead to phase two and three of that. And we've planned for that. This not only will allow folks to have the Instacart plus unlimited grocery delivery, but Instacart's also going to add a $5 monthly stipend to assist the covering service fees. This accept into this pilot program will access will benefit for 12 months at a time. And we will reassess those every 12 months, making sure that the folks who need it stay eligible. Currently, Instacart serves 100% of the city of Columbia in every zip code. So no matter where you live within the city limits, you have a delivery option. Those zip codes also have shopping options. So you're not bound to one store or another. You, there are five to eight providers that you can choose from. Additionally, participants will be able to easily upload their Snap cards to use while shopping on Instacart. We're officially opening the online applications for the GAP program today. So if you live within the city limits in a defined food desert, Qualified for need basis assistant, you are eligible and encouraged to apply. If you do not know that you're in a food desert, or on the website there is an easy, friendly, usable eligibility checker that will allow you to just type in your address and GIS will tell you your eligibility this is going to be a great way for us to start this and working one step at a time along with some of the, the programs that we're already doing. As you know, we've invested in a mobile food cart as well. 
so we have a mobile grocery store after the first of the year. So trying to make sure that we just don't have one solution but multiple solutions available to those families and to those folks in food deserts in the city of Columbia. We'll keep application process open for the next two weeks. We will score applicants based on the distance from the grocery store, number of dependents, vehicle access. We'll ask applicants to self-disclose any barriers they face in this program to make sure that we have the right community partner and, and set up with you to make sure we can help you get forward. If you're technologically challenged like I am at times, we have folks like Fast Forward, Senior uh, Resources, both who are here, Bank of America who wants to help and be partner with us. And of course, Instacart, with their wealth and knowledge of, of all the technology they have and the way to get this in. And we even have a partner who will help provide technology for those who may not have technology so that they can have everything at their fingertips to make this happen. So you can find more information on the program. We also have Parks and Rec's uh, recreation facility in every district ready to connect you with the application and information in purpose, in person. So I'm, I'm very excited about this, but we couldn't do it without a partner like Instagram. And I want to thank Casey and her team for not only being here, but being part of it and delivering us a way to, to go after this tremendous gap in our insecurity of food in this community and go from, as Reverend McDowell likes to stay, from a, from a desert to an oasis. So with that, Casey, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Rickenman. Um, and uh, as the mayor said, I'm Casey Aiden Wansbury. I'm Vice President of Policy and Government Affairs at Instacart. Uh, we are so happy to be here today to help launch the Grocery Access Pilot Program, the GAP Program. Um, just to start with a little background, if those, are not, if those of you who are not familiar with Instacart, we're proud to be the leading grocery technology company in North America. That means every day millions of Americans use Instacart to get the food and essentials they need from the retailers they trust. We work with about 1,400 retail partners across the country in about 80,000 stores, and that allows us to cover 95% of all households in the U.S. Um, so, uh, in including, uh, that includes uh, about 40 retail partners across the state of South Carolina, and as the mayor said, we cover every zip code in Columbia, so we're proud to be a partner in this program. At Instacart, we also recognize the deeply important role that food and nutrition play in health. That's why a year ago we launched a new initiative we call Instacart Health that leverages our reach and our technology to help expand access, access to nutritious foods for more people across the country. As I mentioned, we cover 95% of U.S. households, and that actually also includes 93% of food deserts in America. Uh, we're really excited that this allows us to help tap the power of online grocery delivery to support families and communities that historically have faced barriers to access to nutritious food. And of course, today we're here in partnership with the mayor and the city. We're, we're proud to be leveraging that technology and reach and experience to help bring more nutritious foods uh, to more families in Colombia. As the mayor noted, over 100 Colombia families living in food deserts are going to receive a complimentary Instacart Plus membership and a monthly Instacart Health Fresh Funds stipend. And together, the membership and the stipends are designed to help us to help cover the cost of online grocery delivery to help more families get the food and essentials they need to deliver directly to their doorstep. This partnership shows what's possible when we bring together the best technology and innovation from the private sector and the unparalleled expertise that mayors and city governments have uh, to help them deeply understand the, their communities and what the challenges are that their communities are facing specifically. We know at Instacart that public-private partnerships like these are key to expanding nutrition access and ultimately improving health of individuals and families. So we're excited to continue working with, with the mayor and with others like the mayor across the country to do just that. Thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you. And I think what's exciting about this is that this is a pilot program that really could turn into a model that's going to go across the U.S. and it started right here in Columbia, South Carolina. And none of that would have happened if the folks that are on our Food Policy Council hadn't been continuing to push us and push us for solutions 
and to do the, the hard work of gathering the information. Are those folks who are here from the food policy, do y'all mind standing up? I want everybody to see you. Thank you. Truly, they put hours, hours, and a lot of time and pushed and pushed in partnerships, but it also made us look at recommendations and then really made us recognize that there's an opportunity to take advantage of technology right here at our fingertips that we're all used to, to really kind of to move the needle and try something different. So I'm excited about that. Um, we look for y'all to get online. Go ahead and sign up. We're going to be pushing and pushing hard to get it out there because I really want to sell out the 110 because I want to get to the 200, the 300, and the 400 because I want to make sure that we have that option open to everyone who possibly needs it in our community. And that's everybody from our, our families to our seniors who all need extra help in saving time, money, and efforts to make sure that they have groceries, number one, but healthy options, number two.